So now let's begin with Team Woo! Visionaire and their mentor, Kun Tiwaya from Kaidi.com. So this particular team, um, we don't get many hardware uh, startups and we don't get many people pitching it because it's really hard to do. And uh, with this team, you know, when, we, when I asked if I could mentor them, I told them, I said, by the way, I don't know anything about hardware and I don't know anything about your market segment, so I'm not sure how I can help you but I love what they're doing. And it's very rare that you can see somebody that comes with a social enterprise business model that actually works. And you know, I don't want you guys to give it up yet because once you hear this story, you're going to see how amazing these two young people are that have created this incredible business to answer a true market need that is way underserved today worldwide. So please, Hold your applause to the end, because these guys are amazing. If I'd like to, please welcome Pam from Visioneer on stage. Come. Woo! All right. So, you ready? Yeah, sure. All right, let's count down. Pitching will start. Three, two, one, go. Total darkness, a complete lack of any visual perception or light. This is what the blind see. Hi, my name is Pam. I'm the CEO and founder of Visioneer. We develop valuable technology to improve quality of life for the visually impaired people. Our team has been working with them for a year, and these are what we found to be their, mo their most important problems. These people have difficulty differentiate products that have similar shape. For example, these are similar but are not the same. What if they learn to trim, not or all the common allergens? Making the wrong choice may lose their health or even life. Moreover, the walking stick can only be used to avoid obstacles at the low level. The problem is, how could I avoid hitting those umbrella or the side hanging down on the street? Our team has come up with a very nice solution that I would love to show you with this short video clip. Check light. Light is on. Light is off. Check color. Blue. Yellow. Banknote. Read barcode. Pepsi. This is how our latest prototype looks like. And rather well, there, there are more than 300,000 visually impaired people in Thailand and 285 million people visually impaired in around who are facing with this problem every day. There's Few smart glasses on the market, such as our cam that can read printed text and new eye or e sight are the low vision to actually see the world to some limited extent. The problem is, these are really expensive at 3,000 to 15,000 US dollars, which preventing them from gaining widespread adoption in the visually impaired communities. Our team has selected only few features that affect their life the most and come up with a 30 US dollar device that can detect obstructions at the head level and 150 US dollar device that can do automatic image recognition. We plan to launch a campaign to raise 1 million baht to deploy 300 units as a pilot test, and after that, we plan to launch a national Kickstarter campaign to raise more money for mass production. Our device has been used by 50 visually impaired in Thailand, and they all love our device. For example, Mr. City Shok said that he really loved the barcode features because it allowed him to differentiate product by himself, which hasn't been possible before with our vision yet. More importantly, our device allowed them to live happier, more independence, and rely less on others. We have a lot of big prize in Thailand, Singapore, Taiwan, and the US for being to bring these technologies to the visually impaired in an, in an affordable way. These are the team behind Visioneer, 
our team has more than five year experience design hardware product. We've opportunity to have Mr. Shuti Pong, a low vision people who serve as a head of assistive technology officers at Thailand Association of the Blind. We also have Kun Kiwar as our business coach. So we believe that we are the right team that really know the need and the problem of the visually impaired people. This, the problem that we are trying to address are happening every day around the world and the opportunity for us to go abroad we will help spread the impact of our creative ideas and also enlarge our network. In the long term, we hope that our device will help the visually impaired to live happier, more independent and rely less on others with our assistive technologies. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Give it up to Team Visioneer. Wow. Woo. All right. Now it's time for Q&A. Yeah. So your product is much cheaper than competitor, right? So yeah, what was the difference in terms of the function? Yeah. Yeah. So we serve a different proposal. Those two divide the new eye and the e side are for the low vision to actually see the world. It works only for some type of low vision. And the technology is quite advanced, so it's it very expensive. But what we do is we select only few things that import that is the most important to the living. So we do product recognitions, we do color recognitions, the thing that they need to use every day, right? Just two things so we can make it more much more affordable than to do general recognitions and to, to recognize everything like new eye or e side does. What is the unit margin? The margin is it's around two to three times of the cost. Uh, uh, so you mean in, in bar, right? So it, for this, for the version, for the thirty online version, the margin is around fifteen or something, and the one hundred and fifty is around nearly half of the price. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why. I, um, is it really difficult to to handle the obstruction? detection uh, for your product? It is, dif it is not difficult, but it is difficult to implement it in a way that not distract to their life because the existing solution did uh, it always beep, 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 and no one will use it because it's quite distract. So we figure out a way, a new algorithm, a new method to do it in a better way that the user loves to use our device. I think usually hardware, uh, uh, hardware startup usually have to deal with one uh, very common problem, battery. Right. What's your your ba take? Uh, sorry battery. Metric. Battery. Or oh, battery? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so the, for the version with, for the version on the right hand side, the battery will be around two days. But for the image recognition feature, the battery is just for five or six hours because that one is much more advanced feature. So we do image recognition. We have camera and all the things. So battery is around six hours. How do you how do you manufacture this? Do you do a home manufacturing or do you have partners in China, I guess? Currently, it's our, we do our prototype in Thailand. But for production, we will be with factory in Taiwan or China to, to do the productions. Do you already have a, a partner there to do this? Uh, we haven't signed a contact with, with any factory yet, but we are in the process to dealing and choosing the factories that should be in maybe Taiwan or China. After your Kickstarter campaign, what is your go-to-market strategy for selling this product? Yeah, firstly, as I already said, we will do a crowdfunding campaign to raise some money for, for productions. And after that, in, in Thailand, we will partner with Thailand Association of the Blind to distribute the product. And also, we will also go for in the B2B model to do for a company to do CSR and also uh, as for government support to, to maybe subsidize our, our product and that is strategy for, for Thailand. All right, give it up to Team Visioneer. Yeah. Woo! Great guy with great heart. I like that very much.